Christmas and welcome to Thailand. You don't know me, but actually I'm Mrs. Lambert's older brother. So if you want to know who picked on your teacher when she was little, it's me. But I love my sister and I'm very happy to meet you and to tell you a little bit about Christmas in Thailand. Now, most of the people in Thailand are not Christian, they're Buddhist. So most of them don't celebrate Christmas, but they have their own culture, their own language and their own holidays. My favorite Thai holiday is the holiday where everyone lights the big lanterns and sends them into the sky. It's called Loi Kratong. It's just like that movie, you know, haven't you seen that movie? It's a cartoon, you know, they put the lanterns, in, what's it called? Oh, Lion King, yeah. But actually, even though I live in Thailand, I've been living in Thailand for more than 10 years, the people I live with, they're not Thai. They're a different ethnic group. They have their own language. They are very, very different from Thai. As you can see, I'm wearing this beautiful shirt that people make with their own hands. They also make wonderful bags like this to carry your stuff. These people are called Karen people. K-A-R-E-N, not Karen, Karen. And they have their own culture and a lot of them are actually Christian. So we do celebrate Christmas. Isn't that exciting? People celebrate Christmas all around the world. But we celebrate Christmas a little bit different from you guys, I think. For one, we start pretty early because we celebrate on November 30th because we know that December is coming and they like to make the whole month of December a special month. So they welcome December with something called Sweet December. Very, very sweet. Mwah and they do a lot of things. This year, it's really, really hard for us because there's COVID, so we can't have a lot of students, but we still celebrated Sweet December. This year, we celebrated with a competition, dancing and singing. Check it out. competition this year on Sweet December, we ate. And what do you think we ate? Probably something crazy, huh? Like monkey or snake. Sometimes. But for this Christmas, we had chicken and pork and duck and sticky rice. So many delicious foods. After we eat, we wait until 11 o'clock and then everyone goes back to the church for a church service and at 12 o'clock midnight, everyone says, Sweet December, three times, and then we go to sleep. In Korean language, we call Christmas, Kri Ople Amuni. It means the day that Jesus was born. There are some things that we, we have that are the same as your Christmas. Actually, we borrow from your Christmas. We like to decorate with Christmas lights. We like to make Christmas trees. And even people will wear little Santa hats. Over here, people love to sing songs for Christmas. Actually, they do a lot of Christmas caroling too. And maybe you might recognize some of the songs. See if you know these songs. Have you heard that before? Yeah, it's Joy to the World. What about this one? 
Trigger Soul Play by Yua Atae. Yeah, Feliz Navidad. Very good. You guys are clever. What about this one? Lan December, Lopa Edokata. Don't know that one? Ha, you guys don't have that song. We have it. It's a beautiful song. When we celebrate Christmas, we usually celebrate for two or three days. So the first night, we have a concert with dancing and singing, and we, we have a worship service, and then we go to sleep. When we wake up in the early morning, everyone starts to play. It's really a lot of fun for all the kids because there are prizes. They have all kinds of races. Uh, do you want to see it? I'll show you some examples. Out of all the reindeers, you know you're the mastermind. Run, run, Rudolph. Randolph ain't too far behind. Run, run, Rudolph. Santa's got to make it to town. So all the kids and the adults and everyone in the whole village comes together and they run races and get prizes and it's a lot of fun. Then during the day, we usually have other games like soccer or volleyball or a special sport maybe you've never seen before. It's called cane ball. It's basically volleyball, but with your feet. There's also some other games that we play, and it's pretty fun. Okay, one game you play is you have to be blindfolded, you take a bamboo stick, and you have to hit the coconut. If you hit the coconut, you get candy. Another one, sometimes we have rock throwing contests, but not just little rocks, big rocks. And then my favorite game that we play is you take a long piece of bamboo or a piece of wood and you put it in the ground and at the top you put money and then people have to come and try to climb to the top if you can climb to the top then you get the money sounds pretty easy huh well it's not because they put oil and gooey icky slimy stuff all over the bamboo so it's really really hard to climb actually you can't really climb it by yourself so you can ask someone to come and help you. And if you can go two or even three people, if you reach the top, you get the money. It's that simple. <laughs> I remember when I was a kid and my favorite part of Christmas, what do you think it was? Probably the same as yours. Presents, of course, I love presents. But here, the presents aren't the most important thing. Actually, usually every year, everyone gets one present. So it's not like in your family, you have your Christmas tree and all the presents under the tree. We usually come together at night and then they call off everyone's name one by one and they go get their present and everyone's happy. Then we have more dancing and more singing. It's a lot of fun. You should try it. So I can talk all I want about Christmas, but I thought you might want to know what do the kids think about Christmas? What is their favorite part about Christmas? So I asked some of them. Let's see what they said. <laughs> Mm. 
At the end of December, everyone's really tired from celebrating Christmas so much. But we can't wait until next year. So I hope you guys have a great Christmas. I'm glad that I could share with you about what we do on Christmas. And I hope someday you can come and visit and you can celebrate with us the whole month because Christmas is a wonderful time to spend together and to celebrate what's really important in your life.